Ottawa up in Canada, but she was shut down by left-wing protesters. Quite a commotion, and even before Ms. Coulter's speech, one of the vice presidents at the school wrote her a letter telling her that she could be prosecuted in Canada if she said anything hateful. That set the tone. Joining us now from Toronto, Susan G. Cole, a columnist for Noun Magazine. So I understand that you supported the demonstrators that would not allow Anne to speak. Um, that kind of sounds kind of un-Canadian to me, is it not? Well, I, I don't know that I'd say that, Bill. Uh, I think that what Americans are noticing in this situation is a real difference between American political culture and ours. And uh, I, I think that it's important to, to mention a few very specific things. Many of us feel that Ann Coulter should be able to speak at a conservative think tank, at a lecture hall, anywhere in Ottawa, any, anywhere in Canada, but that the universities are not the place uh, for provocateurs and, uh, and, and people who, who target certain minorities and even majorities in the case of women. And it's interesting to hear the students shouting off our campus. They didn't say out of Canada, they didn't say out of Ottawa, and they have a sense of uh, how they want to have uh, conversations in their own community. All right, well, as a former teacher, though, I was always uh, <coughs> encouraged to uh, let my students hear all points of view uh, so that they would be schooled, pardon the pun, in um, what the liberals think, what the conservatives think. So I don't know if, if right. uh, Canadian education is doing itself any favor uh, by tossing well, somebody I, like Ann Coulter off campus. I think you make a good point about wanting to hear all kinds of points of view. In fact, conservative politics are all over our campuses, and, and certainly conservative political thinkers are, are taught in many of our political science courses. You can't get a politics degree if you don't know Hobbes. So I don't think it's the ideas, Bill, that's the problem. I think it's the, the, it's the tone, it's the quality right, well, of the give dialogue. Me an example of what, Especially uh, from somebody, somebody like Give me an example. Look, you're an educated woman. You write a column. Give me an example of something that Ann Coulter has said or done that disqualifies her from addressing... Nobody was forced to see Ann Coulter, by the way, and Miss Cole, on a campus. No, absolutely you either true. come or you don't come. All of that's so, true. Yeah, so nobody's forced. Yeah. So what disqualifies so her from being there? Well, let's be clear. She's called herself a bigot at certain points. She's but you, you, I want that you should... to tell me what about her offends you specifically. Well, I, I think her comment that women shouldn't be allowed to vote and then therefore the Republicans would win is one example. I think that's uh, a joke and a jest. Thing, let me explain, Bill. The specific thing that set people off in this instance was her statement that all Muslims should be on a no-fly list. Uh, and that very, and that was exactly what prompted the provo of the University of Ottawa to send her the letter warning that that kind of speech could violate our hate right. laws in this I'm country. I'm glad you, I'm glad she, you she brought that up. That's an plainly. interesting example. All right, so Ann Coulter says all Muslims should be on no-fly lists. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, she, I don't, I'm going to talk to her tomorrow night. So I'll, I'll and I'm going to absolutely uh, put that to her. She. Right is a person who exaggerates to make a point, but she may believe uh -huh. that. She may believe that. Let's say, let's say she does believe that. So that's her uh -huh. opinion that Muslims should be on a no-fly list. It's not anybody's policy. So why would you now say she can't say that opinion in Canada? Certainly she can say it down here. She can't. She can't say it on the campus. It's really Why? Important. Why? I why can't she say it on the campus? To be why? Because in, in Canada we have such, we have uh, regulations that, that make it important that there's a, a, an environment on the campus that allows students to live, think, learn, and Okay, safety. but she's saying Muslims should, no Muslim should be on a no-fly list. And that Muslims should be on a no-fly zone target it, targets Muslim students who have a right, right to now be what able if she to said, go about what if their she said business most without... Wait, let me get, what if she said most terrorism, and, I, and she has said this, is mm -hmm. generated by Muslims? Is, then she gets thrown off too? 
Well, I don't know. I'm just a chief. Well, you might wait, say wait, that. Wait, wait, you asked me you for specific examples, you and I'm giving the, you the, the All right. Ex if you say the no-fly list is over the top, which I don't think it is, I just think... It's not you know, the no-fly list. It's the all Muslims. Anytime you say all, all or right, so generalized, she said most Muslims you're getting perilously close to hate speech in this country. I mean, That's I, the difference. I don't see it as hate speech as much as hyperbole. And I think the students in Canada are mature enough to either accept it or reject it. And I think that you're... They're welcome you're, to go to see a lecture somewhere else. This is a publicly funded institution. Yeah, a, Most of the, institu the institutions that Ann Coulter's visited in America are private, uh, private institutions. No, she's spoken on publicly college campuses funded here. public space. All right. Hmm? Well, Ms. Cole, we appreciate you putting forth your point of view. As I said, Ann Coulter will be on the factor tomorrow evening, and uh, that's an interesting... And did you